Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created the property lines. In this video, we're going to import uh, the topography PDF file into Revit and then we're going to model the topo solid. So let's go with insert, import PDF, uh, select the PDF file and I might go with 150 dot per inch, OK. Uh, place it somewhere around here and then with arrow keys, we can uh, adjust the location. Uh, let's say if your PDF ends up being uh, smaller, you can just move it to one of the corners that you know and then you can scale it by scale. I'm going to go with graphical scale from this base point. We're going to uh, stretch it from here to here. Uh, after you rotate and scale your PDF file, if you want, feel free to pin it so it will not accidentally move. Uh, and then if you want to move it, you can unpin it. Okay, now that we have everything, we can start creating the topo solid. Uh, I want to go with create from uh, sketch actually. I want to pick the lines. I want to pick these lines, the property lines. And I will uh, just check the box. So now it's just a flat surface at the moment. Uh, then I want to go with modify sub element and I want to click on each point and uh, under elevation I want to assign the right elevation in this case is 100 millimeters for this corner for this other corner is also 100 millimeters for this uh, third corner is actually 1500 as you see uh, fourth corner is again 1500 and this one is also uh, 1500 and finally the last corner is 4000 so we assigned the points the edges so far and it's already starting to create some uh, topography for us uh, I want to make the topography better so I want to select it and in the site plan I want to go with add points and uh, with the points being added, I want to go with elevation and I want to put absolute elevations here. So I'm going to go with 500 and along this 500 um, curve, I want to add some points here. One here, I'll add a few points along this 500 curve, then I'm going to go with 1000. And along the second contour, I want to add 1,000 elevation points. Then I'll go with 1,500. And I'm going to keep going. Add one more here along the path. And the next uh, contour is 2,000. Keep adding the points. The next one is 2500. So uh, enter the elevation first, then draw the points. Next one is 3000. And the last one is 3500. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention and uh, notice that I have put my view on wireframe. So when I click on the points, I can still see both PDF and the points. So that might be helpful sometimes. Let's take a look in 3D. Now it seems to be all right. If I go to site plan, uh, I can select the PDF file and maybe I can hide it or erase it. We don't need it anymore. And uh, I can assign some spot elevations here we see that is 100 here uh, as we mentioned is 3500 here and so on and next we're going to assign some setbacks if i go with reference plane rp 
uh, is this command here let's say from the south side uh, I want to pick this line and offset by 3000 let's say I have uh, just as an example 3 meters of setback from this side and uh, maybe 4000 from the left side and uh, let's assume it's also 4000 from all the other directions of the site feel free to move the reference plane so they have intersections here so this means that I can only build within this area uh, so let's take a look at 3d I can put this on shaded and uh, you can see the topo solid uh, if you want to have a different grass or some other material on top you can go to edit type duplicate edit and uh, change the finished material which is grass from here now let's assume we're gonna have some building here and I'm gonna have a rectangular building and I'm gonna try to use uh, most of the um, area of the site within the setback so I'm gonna go with Massing and site, we're going to create one in place mass, mass one, okay. And I'm going to pick this line and I'm going to also add some other lines. Notice that instead of drawn face, I'm going with drawn work plane. So it's going to draw everything horizontally on work plane, which is if you didn't change it, it's level one. So it's all going to be on a horizontal work plane. I'm going to draw one line here and uh, maybe I'll draw another line or maybe around here and I'll draw one line from here to here and let's trim this line and I'm gonna also trim the other end of it so let's go with trim 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 maybe this is gonna be the main area uh, of my building uh, I can select the rectangle that I just draw and I'm gonna say create a solid form uh, let's look at it in 3d and I wanna finish the mass okay so maybe this is our uh, building if you want to make some changes go back go with edit in place I can put this on wireframe for a second let's say I want to select the bottom rectangle like this and I want to say instead of zero I want to start it one meter above zero, so I'm going to change this 10,000 to 9,000. So now it's going to start one meter above the grade. Uh, if you select the top plane and you change the number, it's going to make the top plane shorter. Like I can say, go with 8,000 millimeters instead of eight meter, instead of nine meters. Right, and then I can finish the mass. I can go back to shade it. Actually, I see that here is a little bit above the plane, so I'm gonna go back to edit in place. I'm gonna go back with uh, wireframe. I'm gonna select the bottom plane and again, and I'm gonna go with 8500. So the lower part of the building is still within the soil area, and I wanna go back to shade it, finish the mass, and uh, I want to select. Um, this building and I'm gonna say cut I want to select the top of solid select the mass and see if I select the mass and type HH or hide it temporarily using hide element from here you see that it basically uh, cut that area of the soil so the mass is gonna be on a flat surface and that's what uh, it should be uh, then I want to uh, select this mass. I can add mass floors. Let's say, let's take a look at our levels. Or maybe I can draw a section to see things better. I'm going to draw a section around this area, looking up. And I'm going to move the crop region so we see more of the mass. Uh, so far we have two levels. We're going to start the building half a meter above the grade so how about I uh, move this level 1 to 500 millimeters I have level 2 I want to add another level you can type LL or you can go with levels from here and let's say I want it to be uh, 3500 millimeters above 
uh, level 2 or maybe let's say 3000 so 3 meters above level 2 and then I want to select the mass and I want to say create floors on level 1, 2 and 3 hit OK let's take a look in 3D just uh, for the last level it might need to be a little bit higher so we have enough room okay uh, you can keep playing with the mask like you can select it edit in place I can go back to my site and I can draw some other shape and let's say maybe we're gonna have a void in here select the circle say create a void form you can look in 3d uh, you can select the top of the circle by hitting tab here and uh, we can move this up all the way up I also want to select the bottom part of the circle so I'll go with the uh, wireframe here I want to hit tab a few times and I want to move the bottom part of this a little bit up and finish the mass and let's see this in shaded mode okay now it's a little bit better so now it's creating a void on uh, level 2 and 3 but level 1 is still is gonna have its own floor if you want to add some area to the mass you can go with edit in place site and uh, you can create another rectangle maybe here let's look at it in 3d or in site I want to select it and create a solid form looking 3d I want to move this a little bit higher and finish the mass uh, I'm gonna move this part a bit lower maybe this part of the building has only floors on uh, actually I forgot to move the bottom of this up I'm gonna go with edit in place select the bottom of the rectangle and I'm gonna move it up to be aligned with the rest of the mass now you see that if I select the top of solid and type HH to hide it uh, we have a mass floors on level 1 level 2 is more like an L shape and level 3 uh, is just that uh, purple area that's it for this video thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos